server sir so we can work on that okay so today any which class sir so today uh, we have to go through uh, e2p cycle what is the e2p oh, no no procure to Cycle. So to pay cycle. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, funds is okay, right? Or can funds, I do? Uh, make it little big, sir. It is very small. <coughs> so uh, before coming to procure to pay cycle, okay, short form they called as P two P cycle also. P. Okay. short form they call p2p cycle okay, so sir. before coming to this topic just we can go for one general example i mean okay so, sir let us take one example uh, you are planning to buy a mobile so okay, what sir. you will do first step just tell me general uh, i'll yeah. arrange money sir uh, right money and i'll see models of the that mobile sir models and features Yes, mm, I can say model um, phone. Okay, mm, futures. Okay, okay. Yes, and, then, and then models, models. Whether it is of, uh, latest, okay. latest, latest model, sir. Okay. Mm, that's it, sir. Features in the sense everything will come. No, like I am saying that are. if you if you are planning to procure a mobile. Okay, sir. You just okay. This is all your requirements, right? Okay. Once if you get, I okay, you are having money, futures, model, everything is finalized. Then, then, then payment, sir, payment. No, you have to go for shop, na. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, sir, right. Okay. Normally, you will not go for one shop, right? Yeah, we will. Uh, we'll try to. Okay, you will go for them. online or maybe Sangeeta or maybe somewhere. Right, right, sir. Exactly, sir. Only stick on to one one shop. I am. What I am yes. saying is. Yeah, 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 sir. Then check the price, right, from each of them. Which one okay. you are having getting cheaper or uh, very less price or any attractive uh, gifts and everything? Uh, normally, we will go for that shop or online, right? Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. So finally, we will. Uh, Procure. Purchase the mobile, right? Okay, sir. Then once if you purchase, means what you will do? Finally, you have to make the payment. Payment, sir. General process, right? Yes, sir. Anything you are planning to? So one minute. Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, sir. So this is a general process, right? Not only for yes. mobile. You can go for TV, or uh, you can purchase car, or maybe uh, anything you are planning to procure. They will, you will go once proper steps. Yes, sir. Right? You are yes, not go, once if you are having the money, you don't directly jump to purchase, right? First, you mm, understand yes. the car futures. Then, what are yes, the models? Sir. Then you have to differentiate in the uh different company cars yes sir finally you can uh, discuss with your uh, something parents or friends then you can yes. so in normally in our business process also okay, uh, there is a procure to pay cycle okay, means sir. Uh, what it will uh, means the definition is see it is a process okay it is a process okay. or a step or a cycle okay to procuring the goods or service okay sir in a timely manner at a okay. respective price okay sir okay 
means it is a process see this are okay. all definition you can tell your own words okay sir okay okay there is no no one will ask you have to tell me in the def, uh, right def, no no one will uh, bothered also okay okay so sir okay just tell that it is a process or cycle okay okay sir to so procuring what to procuring the product right or maybe goods also it will okay sir okay right every every yes. company will not go for uh, products right some company they are dedicated for giving the service also service also right so okay, it is a process or cycle to procuring products or service in a timely manner timely manner why it is timely manner because every organization having a own time means own plan okay sir to producing some goods yes, sir right so yes, is, sir. that's what we are mentioning in a timely manner at a okay. These are price. price also. Price. Yes, sir. So P2P procure. You see, the word is telling procure means procure. you are. Yes, you are purchasing something. Yes, sir. Okay, that is a material or whatever may be. Procure means you are purchasing something. Okay, okay, sir. Pay means whom you are paying finally. To the uh, vendor. Vendor, uh, vendor, right? Oh, sir. so procure means to be a material okay. means raw material raw material okay sir okay okay sir or maybe consumables okay sir why i am putting consumable means see raw materials it is required to produce the finished goods yes sir consumable same i am taking your in your company example consumables suppose see you are using the a4 sheets to print out so for giving okay, the sir. print right okay, or you, your company having own brochures okay sir on yes sir yes. so your company having the own brochures right oh, yes sir and also like a pen or maybe a tissue water bottles they are all consider as a consumables okay sir okay so you are procuring now yes, finally sir. once if you procure you have to pay yes Whom sir you are paying to vendor vendor right Yes, sir. You understand, right? Procure to yes, pay. Yes, You are procuring something for that something you have to paying. Okay, sir. So okay. in between, from procure to pay, we have followed some steps. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. So first step is determination of material requirement. Okay, sir. Determination of material requirement. Idea. um <coughs> determination means a detail of uh, material sir mm, tell me anything uh, tell me i can correct it let's see that's all sir uh, the material what we are purchasing the complete detail of that material a uh, little bit determination the material what we are procuring sir with that one uh? yes 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 right Wow, which material we are procuring that uh, that detail? First, you want determination, right? What yes, you sir. procure? Maybe it is a mobile, it is a car, or maybe it is in some raw materials. Okay. Yes, sir. yes, sir.
So first part is determination of material required. So first you have to analyze what material I am procuring. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, this determination of material requirement uh, normally it come from the production. Suppose it is a raw material. Okay, so sir. Your your company also I am in the production department. Yes, sir. Okay, maybe production department is available and also like other like HR department also there. Okay, let us take example. Okay, okay sir. first okay. they will analyze what type of raw material required for to convert exactly. raw material to finished goods. Okay. Within that particular period means they will plan. Okay, so before okay, 15 days they will plan what type of raw material is required for the uh, production production okay okay sir. so this determination of material requirement once it is done then okay, it is sir. converted into purchase requisition okay okay sir any idea purchase yes, requisition? no sir no idea sir i have forgot i have studied this the, the theoretically long back uh -huh. so, uh, i have to go through notes sir i have these notes but i have to go through that okay no issues no issues So purchase requisition is an internal document. Okay, sir. Purchase requisition. It is an internal document. Means the department uh, who are working in see who are working in production or maybe in HR department, they know that okay, what sir. type of material we require. Okay, yes, sir. Exactly. That material we have to be uh, means uh, we have to be uh, send in some format, right? Oh, yes, sir. Tell verbally, like, uh, see, I want required 15 pieces. We can't tell in verbally, right? There is some internal document is required. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they will go for the purchase requisition. Yes, sir. Understand, right? Exactly, sir. So this is called internal. Okay, this is one uh, interview question. Purchase okay. requisition is an external document, or internal, because once determining the requirement, so we have to be quoted in a one document. That document is called purchase requisition. Purchase requisition. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So what you what are the things you mentioned in the purchase requisition? Next question. Okay, okay. So can you uh, give another example for this requisition, sir? Uh, means. No, no, exact. Uh, still, I'm, I have doubts, sir. Like, okay, still, I, See, I still I didn't get that, sir. Uh, one minute. See, in this, you will just come to know that what material we have to procure. Okay, that, that is determination. Okay. Fine, sir. So, that particular what material that it will be sent in the purchase requisition means. Okay. In this step, only you you come to know that this material it is very less. We have okay. to procure. Okay, okay, sir. So there is a one internal document is required. Okay. Means in that internal document you mentioned what material and what quantity required. Okay, sir. Okay. And which date you required this material? Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand, sir. Oh, purchase. Requisition. You're just analyzing. So, okay, this is material. It is very shortage. So now we have to raise the purchase requisition. Yes, so sir. what happened? Maybe production department or maybe HR department. What they will? They will do the one purchase requisition. Okay, sir. In that, what they require? Okay, if it is a raw material, then material. What material I require? Okay, sir. Quantity, how much quantity on which date I need means delivery date. Okay, sir. All specification they mentioned in the purchase requisition. So that's why okay, I tell you this is internal document. Okay, okay, sir. So normally I can't inform to the particular department means purchase department in the verbal way, right? Oh, yes, sir. There is, I have to submit one document what I okay. require. So that document ah. is called purchase requisition. Purchase. Okay, okay, sir. 
So, uh, normally you are uh, mentioning internal uh, sorry material. this purchase requisition I, ha I have to send it to vendor or uh, inside uh, premises no, no 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 from it will uh, pass from the internal team suppose, okay internal okay suppose production department required material they will raise their own uh, purchase requisition okay okay uh -huh, uh -huh, right sir okay and hr or hr department required some consumable item brochures okay Right, based on yes. department wise, the material also different. Product, okay, oh. HR department. Suppose if you come to safety department, their material is require uh, is requirement is different. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Now, why I am taking material? This is purchase requisition is right by the production department. Okay, okay, sir. So that's why I am maintaining the material quantity delivery date. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Any doubts? Uh, no doubt, sir. No doubt, sir. Okay, here yeah, don't uh, in only determination of material requirement. What material you require? That's what. Okay, purchase requisition is internal document which is given to internal uh, department, right, sir? Yes. Now it is go to approval process. Approval. Okay, bro. Right, sir. Right. There is a steps. Normal. Okay. Some, see, this is a standard. But in some company, we will neglect. But we have to follow the standard step. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, suppose in your company will not follow the PR approval, but in some company they follow, uh, they are followed. Okay, don't confuse. This is okay, sir. A standard one. Okay, sir. Okay. So next PR approval. Why it is required PR approval means. See this. Approval is taken by higher management. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Why? Because suppose if I I having some orders. Okay, sir. It's customer orders. Don't okay. forget. It's a customer orders. Okay. Then only I can procure this raw material and then I will convert into finished material. Finished material, yes, sir. Suppose if I don't have orders itself, why I have to procure this material? Yes, sir. Exactly. Again, I have to give the payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what this stage is very important. PR approval. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Fine, so sir. PR approval from higher management. Higher management. Understood, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understand, sir. This production people means purchase acquisition is right, but it is required approval. Okay, sir. They will check that it is. Uh, this material is worth to purchase now or we can somehow we can manageable for another 50 to 20 days. Okay, so okay, sir. One point. Second point. Hmm. Okay, no, sir, not a second point. Okay, this is understand, right? Once uh, PO is approved from the IR management. Okay, sir. Once it is approved, then it will move to the purchasing department. OK, sir. So it will move to. Any idea what they will do? Uh, they will create PO, sir. The PO. This is department. Uh... See, they are okay. You can say a purchase requisition is there based on, but finally, whom they will send purchase department uh, to uh, to vendor, sir. Right, absolutely right. You okay. want you required material from the vendor itself. Yeah. Suppose I don't have vendor. Okay, sir. This is something little bit new material, or somehow it's uh, not uh, getting from our existing. Then what you will do? Then I'll search an alternate uh, vendor, sir, or else a uh, different company. Yes, yes, absolutely right, man. So next, it will go to purchasing de department. Okay. Yes, the sir. purchase department, what they will do first, they will analyze what material it is, and you means we get a peer approval. Yes, sir. Okay. First, they will yes. analyze it. Okay, sir.
okay first analyze and also what they will do purchasing department suppose if i if i my company having the two plants okay sir okay so nearby suppose uh, mrf company having the one plant in bomsadra another plant okay. in kinya okay sir okay so if suppose if the material is required in that plant okay, okay they will procure means they will take from plant one as i will tell an example suppose plant one is there in pinia pinia okay 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 you can take plant two in bomsadra okay okay sir so they will just check it if it is suppose i required for pinia plant okay sir requisition material requirement is for pinia plant okay sir they will check in bomsandra plant if it is available they will inform to send some materials then we will uh, raise one more purchase uh, po to vendor okay then okay, we will uh, once it is reached to our yard then we will give it back to you so so from uh, plant 1 they'll order to plant 2 sir no first they will internally they will check okay okay purchase department they will internally check it is available or in other plant or what okay okay then second option they will go for vendors vendors okay sir okay right, sir, right. so sometimes what happen you required material very urgent okay so initially they will check if it is there in plant 2 it is okay well and good they will means they will take okay there is no nothing documents nothing required okay sir okay that process we will explain in uh, in another like 2025 after 25 class it will come sto process okay sir right sir stock transfer process okay that you can understand yeah. clearly so right, here sir. what they will go they will go for vendors vendors okay so yes, if vendor is available it's well and good okay. okay if vendor is not available okay i will say vendor okay okay sir here also vendor vendor is available means i will put as yes okay okay sir if vendor is not available for this particular okay. i will put as no okay okay sir so then my step will next step what the purchase department will do is they will go for required for quotation means first they will go for identification of the vendors okay sir because i don't know vendors right so i will first yes. purchase department look for the particular vendors vendors if it is no means then i will go for the vendors identifications normally where you will search it vendors identification through internet right okay sir or maybe some uh, po internet portals like uh, i can say uh, something trades.com or uh, something in, in, uh, india mart ah yes right man india mart there you can find some vendors vendors exactly sir okay so normally okay. what they will do vendor is not available they will go for search option okay oh, through okay, the internet sir. or some portals or there is there is some reference they will call okay, vendor we are looking for this material you have you know any vendors okay then okay we come to okay. means they will select at least two to three vendors okay sir okay why because i will tell you they will not finalize with one vendor yes sir they will get quotation from different vendors yes you are almost there
so finally they will get vendor 1 then vendor 2 then vendor 3 vendor 3 right yes sir yes sir finally what they will ask purchase department from this vendor once they will give the requirement right i need yes, this sir. vendor and finally yes, what they are expecting from these vendors uh quotation sir ah right man so normally they will go for quotation, quotation. yes sir so i can tell us required for quotation quotation for quotation yes sir so obviously right once if you get the quotation what they will mainly what they will look if you get uh, from vendor one vendor two vendor three finally you have to select see one the price vendor. price they'll see the price. price so normally purchase department will look first price then delivery date okay sir quantity but first they will look price delivery date and quantity these three things okay. they will take into picture okay sir okay so then finally okay uh, sir i have one uh, one question sir hmm. sir actually this sap is related to purchase or any supply chain sir it is related to purchase and inventory inventory okay okay mm -hmm. Supply chain, okay. Man, uh, chain management it includes uh, P, uh, like uh, P2P and also okay. SD and EWM. Okay, okay, sir. MM so it, okay, okay, sir. MM is only dedicated for procuring of material and inventory. Inventory, inventory. management. Okay, sir. Right, sir. Right, sir. Okay. Done, sir. Aye, sir. So yes, sir. now. Uh, you get a quotation based on the price delivery date you selected one vendor right yes sir so i will finally what you will do a price delivery so is selected oh once the is delivered, then we'll do the payment sir once we agree the price delivery date and all uh maybe before giving the payment uh, you will raise the purchase order right Purchase order or pro forma invoice, sir? Yeah. So here we will go for purchase order. Purchase order. Okay. Okay, sir. Once it is, uh, means I can say approved purchase order, not purchase order. Okay, sir. Means in the organization, once if it is any purchase order rise, again the management will check on what basis you selecting this vendor okay sir okay okay the management they will check and go. because they will check what vendor means vendor is capable of delivering the goods what means how many quotation you receive okay so sir, okay. you have to give justification right why i have selecting the vendor one so then he will come up with i selected three vendors i get a quotation from all the three vendors based on price delivery date quotation i selected vendor one okay sir. okay so hmm. that's what i asked approved so that's what i am typing as approved purchase order okay sir Finally, once if it is uh, purchase order is received, okay. Okay, sir. So what the vendor will do? What he will do? Purchase order. Once the uh, purchase order is sent to vendor. Okay, sir. Then what is the next step? Next, they will arrange, they'll arrange the material, sir. Right. So once if the purchase order is received, okay, once the approved purchase order is received, okay, they send means acknowledge, right? Acknowledge, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Acknowledgement, and also we call one more term, advanced shipping notification. Okay, sir. Okay. 
this is very important advanced shipping notification okay in the next uh, coming classes we can focus on advanced shipping notification why oh, we will give the acknowledgement and advanced shipping notification see acknowledge acknowledgement is nothing but it is accepting guarantee for the material or payment means i am expect i means i am for you what you mentioned in the purchase order material okay. quantity and price okay okay i am for that i am ex, uh, means i am accepted okay sir okay so vendor is accepting <laughs> accepting the po acknowledge means okay sir okay if suppose if there is a variation in the price or quantity again we will inform to the purchase order team okay he will okay, sir. he will send the one revised purchase order right sir right sir okay advance shipping notification advance see shipping notification, shipping notification. Called as ASN. Okay, sir. Means the vendor before sending the goods, okay, he will inform to the purchase or purchase department or maybe organization. I am sending this much of quantity, this much of uh, like mainly this much of quantity and this much and what type of transportation mode. Okay, sir. Okay, where or road before sending. Okay, before sending means almost within uh, one, maybe once the vendor is planning to dispatch today at uh, nine nine p.m. eight p.m. he will send a advance shipping notification. Okay, sir. Okay. Why he will send early? This one means how much quantity? Because some of the organization required crane labor. Yes everything is right if you yes, not think any advanced repeat notification they these people will think that it will come after two to three days correct sir. material will come once if you send it they will alert means the organization will alert so they can arrange the labors maybe uh, crane facilities or what are the requirement they advancedly they will arrange it oh yes sir right oh yes sir Finally, what happened? They will receive the goods. Right. Once if they get acknowledgement and uh, advanced shipping notification material is ready. OK, the goods is received. So once if the goods is received, means goods received means again some process, internal process will go like uh, quality checking, uh, if it is any blocked or any damages. So everything they will check by the quality department, right? Yes, sir. But once the goods is, uh, I can say quality inspection, okay? Yes, sir. And how much material means? Uh, vendor how much he is promised me to send the quantity that much material is there or everything it will be recorded in the goods receipt. Any doubts? No doubt sir, no doubt sir. So from, from vendor we will get the goods received right sir? Ah, from vendors. Okay, okay sir. Vendors only right? From... Yes sir. I can type it as vendors, okay? From vendors, from vendor, goods is received, okay? Mm, okay, sir. Here, two type of documents, okay? Documents is created. We will explain okay. in the next step. OK, just remember two types of documents. OK, next uh, in the coming days, I will explain what type of documents and all these things. OK, sir. OK, okay. so uh, once the goods is arrived, uh, then you will use it, right? Then you, you will utilize for uh, making the finished product or whatever may be. OK, yes. Sir. Then finally. 
what you have to do once the goods is received and you will make that raw material into finished goods yes sir so finally you will Inspection get the invoice invoice okay okay <coughs> yes sir i called invoice verification okay so when you are uh, sending the goods right when uh, materials is received from your end okay in the same vehicle he send a invoice tax, copy also tax bill ah invoice copy means it's uh, nothing but tax receipt with including the raw material uh, yes sir yes sir yes sir okay invoice document okay so that is including price thanks Tax. So, what they will do once if you receive invoice document, right? Okay, sir. Same thing you will maintain in SAP system. Means okay, in SAP sir. system means the what you physically getting this invoice, right? Hard copy. Yes, sir. That you invoice verification where you not you. Okay, this is done by end user. In SAP system, they will enter all the details. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. They enter all the details. Everything is matchable. Then finally, they will make the payment to vendor. Payment to. Vendor. Means again payment to vendor. It is based on like they will give uh, like the thirty days once, or maybe they make uh, giving uh, within once the goods is received within okay. one day they will uh, make the payment. Okay, okay through sir. bank to bank transfer, or okay, they will sir. give the check. That is depends on business to business. Business to business. Okay, sir. Okay, that is payment to vendor. It is from bank to bank, bank to bank transfer, or I can say check. Yes, sir. No cash. Okay, sir. Any doubts? Uh, No doubt, sir. No doubt. It is clear, sir. So see, these are all steps you can just uh, recreate your own step. Okay, sir. This what I am saying is, see, purchase PR approval. You can merge this purchase requisition and approval. You can merge it. Okay, sir. Again, it is depends on you. Why I am telling step by step means this is initial, right? So yes, if sir, I yes, plug it again, it's problem. So that's what. Once if you get grip on it, you can club two levels. Suppose PR approval, right? Purchasing department or okay, they will okay. they will create a uh, means purchase order. Okay, okay, sir. So acknowledgement ASN, you can just club it in one uh, case year only. So vendor will. Okay. Acknowledge the PO and send advance. They send a advance shipping notification and they will share. They will send a goods. Okay, sir. Right. So sir. also you can combine it. So it completely depends on like uh, business to business process. Okay, in some business okay, so many process they will neglect. If you yes, see in the some uh, online images, so uh-huh. many process is not there. So that means. That process is applicable for their own business. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Right, so, uh, so today's is like just procure to pay cycle means procuring of material. Finally, we are making the payment to the vendor. So okay, normally sir. short form we you so many times you call P two P cycle P two P cycle. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. So procure means. that may be whatever may be man raw material or consumable because see what organization only not, not run with the raw material right they required some yes. consumable also yes sir like i say right brochures required 
paper printing papers and also some uh, consumable items like if you guest is coming you more required water bottle water bottles yes sir so these are all things like material okay sir first okay. you have to determination what type of material is required okay sir that all the things you will be entered in a one internal document called purchase requisition requisition okay normally what are the things you maintained is material quantity delivery date but see if vendor is known okay in some cases vendor you can also mention it but if uh, uh, means in this step uh, particular department like production hr they will not bothered about vendors okay okay why sir. because production people will take care yeah yeah so that's what what they needed material quantity and when it will be arrived this three is more than enough to them okay Once sir, it is right, go sir. to the pr approval pr approval okay. means uh, maybe ir management okay sir right sir. overall maybe suppose the production okay. let's see if i raise the purchase requisition from if i give an example i can say production engineer okay sir is the purchase requisition yes sir but this one is approved by production manager okay sir okay got it na yes sir yes sir so production manager and other people also like vp is the vice president okay sir just assume it vice so they both can approve the pr yeah. then it will move to purchasing department department purchase department if vendor is there okay well and good they will directly procure uh, material ah uh, 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 they will give the approved po to the vendor okay sir suppose if not vendor is not there then they will first go for the vendor identification identification then they will get a required for quotations quotation who is mentioning the means who is quoting the price, very less price delivery date and quantity they, they will finalize that uh, vendor that one they are obviously right they will finalize one vendor yes sir once it is finalized then it is understand the po will be went to that particular vendor only yes sir okay yes sir so in our case it is went to vendor okay you understand right vendor one v1 it will yes. go to vendor one okay so once it yes. is move then he will acknowledge normally what happened once if uh, any vendor here not only small vendor once if they receive the po they said small scale business what happened they will uh, send through mobile whatsapp uh, but in some medium and large scale industry they are having some protocols they have to send it through mail mail okay yes, so yes. they will send the acknowledgement that we will receive the po and what are the quantity price everything you mentioned we are acceptable okay sir okay okay and meantime yes. they send the advance means they require some time right yes they sir yes sir one week or say it is after that they will send the advance shipping notification Okay, sir. Okay. This is a one important question in the interview. Okay, what is advance okay. shipping notice? Means advance shipping notification is a just and one uh, what is called message or you say document sent to the particular organization stating okay. that what are the material price and um, or material quantity and uh, transportation mode. All the details are shared to the particular organization. okay sir okay from so, the vendor side it is shared right sir ah vendor side so it will helpful helpful to the organization to arrange what you call women resources like okay, labor okay sir okay some material every material you can't take through in hands right so sometimes yes, you required forklift or maybe you required crane yes sir yes sir so that's the reason it will be a helpful advance shipping notification okay sir okay then finally the goods will be arrived okay sir okay in our plant okay okay sir. mm consultant you have to tell 
boots are received to our plant or to our storage location. Okay, sir. Okay. Mm, okay, sir. In the next class, we will tell. But plant is see. Suppose this is a plant. Storage okay. location means somewhere what raw materials I keep particular this space for the storage location. Okay, okay, sir. Right, sir. Got it, na? Plant yes. it is entire. Uh, it is in man producing some manufacture raw material to finish it. That is the one plant. But in that plant, I need I give some space. Yes, for sir. Storing of the material, raw material only. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Once the vendor received the goods, then finally it will come to the once normally right. Once you receive the material and you do the quality inspection, there is no nothing uh, rejection. There is everything is as per the quality standard. Then you can accept that material. Okay. Okay, sir. Then you will uh, invoice verification. See, there is a confusion. What happened? Invoice verification means. Uh, normally, what happened? Invoice is sent by the vendor. Okay. To so when they are delivering the goods, that invoice just we received and we will enter into our system. Okay. Okay, sir. So then everything is matchable. Then it will move to the payment to vendor. Means this part will taken care by finance. Okay, sir. Okay. They will uh, give the payment through check or transfer that they will take care. But after invoice, it will come to payment. Uh, payment to vendor. Vendor. Okay, sir. Okay. This is all general things. I am again repeating. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Please. Sir. You can easily you can tell because normally they will ask first if you come to the intro question. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Mm, intro question one. Business process. Okay. Just explain the P2P cycle. Your business. Okay, sir. Okay. So in your when you are working some company, right? Uh, working as a SAP consultant, right? In your business okay. means you are working for one project, right? Oh yes, sir. Ah, uh, in that business, how is the uh, P2P cycle? Means uh, what are the steps they are following? Okay. Okay. The same. Uh... Chart what you have mentioned that one if, I have explained. Ah, uh, you can explain same if, if you want any extra information you add it, but this is complete a standard process. I told you right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you so can we have to determine the, the material and then purchase requisition and then PR approval from higher management and uh, then it it moves to uh, purchase department and they'll they'll start finding the vendor. Ah. Uh, and then uh, they'll uh, they'll give the quotation from vendor side. They'll get the quotation. Yes. And uh, the purchase department uh, once they get the quotation, they'll approve that. And mm. from from purchase department again, they'll send the acknowledgement. No, no, no acknowledgement again. See, acknowledgement is sent by vendor. See, you. Yeah, hey, that's what, sir. That's what uh, I told the same thing, sir. Okay. Vendor vendor will be sending the uh, acknowledgement. Ah, vendor only. Okay, okay, okay. And so, and uh, once the go goods are received from vendor, then they'll make the payments and they'll check, they'll verify the invoice. Yes. Invoice, they'll invoice, verify the invoice and then the payment will be done. Yes, right, right. So okay. you, uh, they will first ask in your business process, please explain the P2P cycle. Please explain the. Right. Okay. Second, what is the ASN? Okay, sir. Mm, apart from that, okay. One more is there. Uh, now only can three-way matching. Okay, sir. Three-way matching means before making the payment. Okay, sir. Okay, before making the payment to vendor, okay, you will compare PO goods received and vendor invoice. What is three-way matching? Huh? Okay, okay. Got it, now. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Means they will match three way matching. What is three way matching? They will ask. Okay. Okay, sir. So, three way matching is nothing but I am comparing the PO quantity, quantity and value, PO quantity and value with GR. Okay. okay. Where GR means goods received. When you receive the business, goods received with yes, vendor invoice. Okay, sir. Okay. This is three way matching. Matching. Normally two way matching also they will call, but um, I don't think so. They will, the business will uh, go for two way matching means they will go for PO, sorry, uh, GR and vendor invoice. This is the question at least maybe in if you face three to four uh, intros normally they will at least in two intros they will ask you. Okay, sir. Okay. This three way matching and four way matching. Three way matching means first PO value, value and also quantity. Only two okay, things sir. they will match with goods received at right? vendor. Yeah, and then vendor uh, invoice. Okay, this is the maximum four question you can expect. Okay. And okay, the, sir. Everything it's like uh, what I can say. You can generally, okay, just uh, in your uh, company, uh, you are working in the company, right? Yes. There sir. Also you can try how the what other step they will follow. You can expect that step also. It's okay. Fine, sir. Fine, no sir. one will I have this, like. I have this uh, knowledge, sir. I have this knowledge, sir. Yeah. So yeah, you I can easily expect it, and I don't think so. Their notes is required for this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly, sir. Okay, purchase requisition means you can tell material quantity, but two to three times you can just uh, practice yourself, so it will come. Man. Right, sir. Right, sir. And uh, apart from that, I forgot one more thing. Uh, tell me, sir. We focused on implementation, right? Yes, sir. So all these are implementations only, right, sir? Which what? No, what all we are seeing is a kind of implementation, right, sir? Uh, regarding uh, exactly P2P? Yes, sir. No, that's what. Based on this P2P, their process, we will, uh, what we called, uh, doing configuration in SAP. Okay, okay. No, actually, okay. what is the, the project implementation, sir, exactly? Where it is? No, no, I, I'm just asking. The, the people, they ask, do you have real-time uh, project implementation experience? Uh, see, project, see uh, project implementation means end-to-end. Into it, okay. So yeah, MRF having the they want SAP system. Okay, Do okay. Business. Then they will come to discuss with TCS, IBM. They finally uh, finalize their uh, IBM in to for SAP Maybe. implementation. Right, sir. Right, sir. That is called. That's what it is called. End to end implementation. Okay, sir. Okay. You starting from scratch. Implementation. So end to end implementation means the company don't have any SAP system. First time they are installing. Okay, sir. Okay. So you understand same steps you have to follow. Okay, sir. First you will go for project preparation, understanding the process, everything. Yes, sir. Okay. Second type of project is rollout. How you get? You have some idea. Rollout means. Rollout project, rollout. No, sir. Uh, rollout means rollout means already the project is implement SAP is implemented. Okay. They need some like uh, additional functions. Okay, okay, sir. Then it is called as a rollout project. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Any any doubts? Rollout means starting from scratch. You are installing SAP system in the MRF company. Okay. But after five to six years, the, again the MRF team will call IBM. Yes, sir. Yeah. I need some of the like I, I have one new plant is created in uh, YZ. Okay. So can you come and uh, implement the, means configure the plant data, everything. Okay. Uh, then understand. It is not called implementation project. That is rollout project. Okay. So after once the project is done after the agreement. Again, uh, if they are willing to come back to us, then that obviously, that right? Every business uh, will be uh, doubt means uh, they are growing day by day. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Now you installed entire implementation. You installed. Okay. Yes, 
after three yes. years again again they will go for bid maybe i don't know it will come to ibm or what again they will go for ib uh, bid but some of the cases they will give directly to ibm also ibm yes sir because they know the each and everything right? <laughs> yes sir so they will directly come and approach to ibm so i need new plants means already i have a, we have a new plants in wisak or maybe in sri lanka or maybe in pakistan so that all things have to be configured in the sap system so then you called as a rollout project i am working in the rollout project okay sir okay last is support support project huh? i told you right ibm means implemented this everything but yes, uh, uh, sometimes what happened after 2 to 3 years they have to give support so again they will yes. go for bit finally someone means infosys or tcs someone they selected they will go for exactly sir infosys so in sap there is three types of project one is implementation means starting from scratch you will implementing sap systems okay, another sir. one is rollout already Roll out. sap system is available in the organization we exactly, have to sir. add some function and support project okay understand sir beautiful so sir. almost like i can say around 80 percent of our uh, sap team is working for support project okay sir just for your information okay the entire okay, implementation sir. only some few people roll out some people but most of the consultants are in support project support project so any doubts uh, no sir beautifully explained sir everything is very clear sir okay yes sir and one more point i missed man uh, what is called po is there right yes sir approved purchase order it is called external document yes. why we called external document uh i don't know sir because this po is sending to vendor means it okay. is going to oh, vendor oh it is it is reaching outside so it is external yes obviously right internally means it is purchase requisition okay 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 it's inside sir. there is inside okay. you have to tell that what required at all the it i understand i understand sir purchase order it's an excel so what is the internal and external again this is one question here okay sir okay yes sorry yes i will write and i will close the session there is into questions so into question 5 what is internal and external document okay. yes sir apart from that you have any idea about contracts uh, contracts in the sense uh, contract schedule agreement contract and since it is not permanent but uh, for a period of time uh, ah that no 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 don't think like in uh, hr level hr time you, you are okay. saying right contract employee or permanent employee a permanent when employee when i come to this particular p2p cycle okay. okay i will use the word contract and scheduling agreement just remember this word contract and okay sir scheduling agreement because see your manufacturing company okay you required the raw materials one raw material i can say uh, in the mrf i need rubber right to manufacture yes, it right i need a rubber for every 10 days or 15 days or 20 days okay so every time i don't go for purchase order and everything Yes, 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 sir. So I will. What I will do? I will do the contract. Okay, I will create okay. a contract. Okay, sir. And I will give the like uh, this much of quantity. Yeah. Suppose thousand quantity. The date and time, right, sir? Huh? So you will give. We will give the quantity with the date and time, right, sir? Delivery date. That is a uh, scheduling agreement. if you okay, give the uh, quantity and i need uh, particular date okay okay then you will uh, go for scheduling agreement agreement okay 
contract means quantity or value okay sir mm. you have time na so yes sir i have time no issue sir this session <laughs> because if i not explain properly again somewhere don't i don't want to struck somewhere okay because okay, i am feeling same thing so just that's what i am telling you fine sir fine sir so contract means is a value and quantity, quantity. value means material you will fix for 10 lakhs okay sir okay if i give any example okay okay mm want example for contract uh, first i will give the quantity contract okay okay sir quantity contract means uh, i need thousands uh, ten thousands uh, something mobiles okay sir okay for samsung okay, you will approach okay sir what they will do so monthly they will divide or they like 15 days once they divide it they will automatically they will send how much the means 10000 divided by 15 suppose i okay. take 10000 divided by otherwise you can take how much it will come 10000 divided by 30 so roughly 333 mobiles they are Uh, every 30 days they will sharing okay okay sir if it is a quantity okay okay sir again we will explain in the next coming class but value means you will fix one value yes sir uh, 10000 usd okay sir okay this value i can say um, So I have a contract where I can suppose petrol. No, I have a contract. Means suppose you can consider uh, goods. Okay. any okay, goods sir. you are 10000 up to 10000 us the once it is reached to 10000 they will stop it okay but sir but in okay. quantity it is in 20000 pieces okay okay aha uh-huh. every month they will share okay sir okay but in scheduling agreement okay quantity okay. and particular date okay sir i need this much quantity on this date Okay, why sir. this uh, contract and scheduling agreement will come in see some raw material suppose in your in your uh, company only any raw material you are procuring on uh, like two days once you, that one it will it, it have to be required any materials you yeah. have okay no i am just asking you in your company or uh, any material yeah, we ha- voice is getting break sir hello in your company okay any material which is required every two days once three days once yes sir we require uh, this thing sir yeah, uh, electrical wires and also this um, uh, steel sheets ss ah, yes, 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 ah, right steel sheets right so yes, sir. they will give a contract to one vendor yes sir so every 10 days you have to uh, you have to send 10 at least 1000 bins total quantity total target quantity is 1000 so contract they will what they will do they will raise one contract okay okay sir in that particular piece uh, 10000 suppose 1000 pieces so vendor every 10 days or every 15 days he will send a steel okay sir so in that understand this thing right Right. No, I'm understanding, sir, because uh, that value. For example, I'm taking ten thousand pieces of Samsung. So ten uh, the ten thousand divided by thousand. No, 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 no. See, contract having two types. One is quantity and value. Okay. So I'll stop this one. Okay. 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 Okay.